five good reasons why I should reply to messages. Cool. Sharing and 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 experience high rewarding, you know, whatever. Creating YouTube video is an excellent way to build a personal brand and you know, don't care. Making YouTube video about the creative discovery brand and obviously be very educational to others interested in developing is okay, yeah, maybe. Showcasing your skills and knowledge. I have no skills or knowledge. Finally, creating video can be a great way to document your journey as a developer and share it. So, yeah, right. So that might be valid. Right, this one replied with the wizard LM. One of the days I was sitting and wondering how can I make a Discord bot? So I wrote how to make a Discord bot in Python. I found a real Python article. Um, spoiler alert, it didn't really work. It's a good article, but I think it might be a bit outdated. What is useful in this article is uh, the steps listing out how to create the bot. So you'll need to go to the Discord developer portal and set up um, set up your bot. There was one trick over there that um, potentially was the reason that it didn't work that I found out with the later iteration. Uh, basically, I didn't end up using any of the code from Real Python. What I ended up using instead was the example from the Discord Pi library. Um, it's very simple. It does what I needed to do. So it responds to messages. The whole bot looks like that at the current state. So it's not very complicated. It's not a very long code. Uh, it is also not a great code. I'm not the best, world's best developer. It can be improved in many ways. Um, this is not a tutorial, so I will just showcase of what I did and how I did it uh, to get a working bot and feel free to copy it. Um, use it however you want. I will link all the resources in the video. Currently this bot is um, giving access to two language models. It is giving access to WizardLM and to Stable Vicuña. Um, both of them are the pre-created versions that I downloaded from Hugging Face from the blog repository, bless that guy. So I'm using Stable Vicuña 13b and WizardLM 7b. Both of them are running on this pretty generic, um, quite old home server that I have. Uh, CPU info. This is nothing special. It's a 9 gen i5. Uh, responses take quite a long time because it's running it on a CPU through Lama CPP. The whole project is basically a duct tape of a few different repos available publicly. Um, so from Lama CPP, uh, I found that you can get the Python bindings created by another guy, uh, bless him. Um, super simple to use. Uh, you can use them as a server, and this is exactly what I'm doing, and there's a reason for that. Basically, when I first tried to import the library and import the model, all of the responses were blocking, so instead of um, finding out how to write a code that would potentially not wait for the model response uh, and not block Discord bot. Uh, instead, I just copied their example for the use of AO HTTP and I'm using the built-in server in the Llama CPP library. The language model is running in a Docker uh, container. Um, this is how I'm creating the the Docker container for the model. Um, there are two main things worth noticing. So installing requirements for the model and then substituting one line of code. The requirements for the model are as follows. So basically, Llama CPP server. Um, I started developing it over a week ago. So potentially some of those might be already included as uh, requirements in the model, uh, in the Llama CPP Python. Uh, repo at the time I had to pre-install them separately. So from that, we pip install that the requirements, um, creating model directory, substituting the max tokens in the Llama CPP uh, package. This is because by default, as of today, when I'm recording it. 
um, it is set to only 16 tokens. So the uh, create completion request would return very, very short response and cut it off uh, after less than a sentence. So as a quick and lazy step, I'm just sub set substituting the code. The Llama CPP Python also requires you to specify the uh, model in an environment variable. Um, this is something I'm passing on later when the Docker container is started. Um, I'm also setting the host and port for the Unicorn server. And this is how I am starting those containers. So after they are built, I am mounting a volume for models and I'm specifying the model which I want. So currently I have two models running. Uh, one is on port uh, 8008, the other one is on 8009. And I'm setting them to run as a service. So basically unless stopped, they will, they will always run at the boot. In case if the server is out due to power loss or anything like that, they will come back. The requirements for bot itself are very short, so we basically, uh, you can ignore that, that's, that's something else I added. Uh, AOHttp, Discord Py and Python.env. .env is because, because I'm storing the Discord API key uh, as an environment variable within the file for the bot itself. Um, specifying the API URLs for both of the uh, language models. I would highly recommend you to check out the Llama CPP um, API documentation. It's listed under the server. So once you start it, you can navigate to slash docs. Uh, of course, that's not gonna work here because I'm not running it on localhost. And I only just now noticed that there is also a Docker image available, so I might completely skip the previous step that I explained. This is something new and it wasn't there when I first started it. And uh, this is quite normal with this projects moving so fast. So for the bot code itself, um, this is not, uh, not that much different from the example. Uh, I'm just adding a handler for messages. The Two main ones are here. So this will be the wizard model and this will be the Vicuña model. Um, when I do the add mention of the bot, uh, it will use the Vicuña model, stable Vicuña. Uh, this is how the prompt is being passed to the model. So on the model page, you will see that there is a preferred way uh, for the interaction with the model. Uh, if we search for the, this one, so prompt template. Um, depending on which model you will use, you might want to change your prompt template to fit what this model was trained on. And then with the AIO HTTP, uh, I'm posting it to the URI of the, of the, log, of the, the Docker um, Docker container running the model. After which I'm parsing out the response and returning it back to Discord. It looks like that. So the responses are slow because, well, it's running on slow CPU, but let's demo what it can do. So I will use the wizard again. I find it slightly better than the stable Vicuña. That's just preference. Um, let's see something like that. What should I say to finish my YouTube video about creating a bot for LLM. You should end your video by providing some additional resources or tips for anyone interested in creating a bot for LLM. Additionally, you can encourage viewers to share their own experience and issues with the community. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Uh, I will leave all the links to everything I was showing in the browser, uh, in the video description. Um, go and make your own bot, have fun.